Californians were sold on a beautiful fantasy during the depths of the 2008 recession. A bullet train that would whisk them from Los Angeles to San Francisco in under three hours. The project was intended to usher in a new age of high-speed rail that would ultimately stretch the length of the West Coast from San Diego to Vancouver, over the desert to Las Vegas, and then across the whole United States. The Los Angeles-San Francisco line was expected to be operational by 2020 when California voters authorized the issuance of $10 billion in state bonds. The, the Obama administration stepped up the game shortly after entering office with a nationwide plan to construct 8,600 miles of high-speed rail lines, which was ultimately raised to 12,000 kilometers. These lines would aid in reviving a sluggish economy and weaning a highly mobile nation off of climate-dangerous fossil fuels. The $105 billion bullet train project would be the largest single investment in state history and the most costly public works project in American history. When we look forward to the present, the dream is all but gone. A combination of inexperienced management and vehement opposition from some influential Republican lawmakers and state governors caused the Obama initiative to collapse. Despite being in operation for 14 years and costing around $10 billion, the California High Speed Rail project is still significantly behind schedule. Early in 2015, the High Speed Rail Authority formally began construction on the project in Fresno. The construction of the line from San Francisco to Levi in the Central Valley, which continues to Anaheim, is part of Phase 1 of the project's two stages. Phase 2 will connect San Diego with Los Angeles with a second branch extending from MERS to Sacramento. If the building proceeds as planned, the whole system length would be close to 800 kilometers. By 2029, the first phase of the train should be finished. Phase 1 offers a reasonably priced 2-hour, 40-minute trip between Los Angeles Union Station and San Francisco's Transbay Terminal. Despite all the challenges, the California High Speed Rail is now under development in various areas of the state incorporated into long-term regional transportation plans by communities all around California. Passenger service between San Jose and Bakersfield is anticipated to begin as early as 2025. More than 119 miles of the California High Speed Rail project are now being built in the Central Valley at more than 30 active construction sites. To build a functional high-speed rail system section, a further 52 miles must be added at the ends to extend the line to Merced and Bakersfield. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to this channel for additional informative videos if you're interested in learning more about forthcoming large-scale building projects in America. Despite all the disputes surrounding this massive project, it's difficult to discount the advantages it would provide if it were ever finished. As part of the project, some 800 miles of track will be constructed that will traverse the length of California and link up to 24 different stations to most of the main cities there. With an anticipated cruising speed of 220 miles per hour, the train is intended to provide Californians with a speedy and convenient alternative to driving or taking short-haul flights throughout the state. To make it simpler for the general population to commute between centers like Los Angeles and San Francisco, California High Speed Rail was created. Even though there are now over 17 trains operating on this route every day, it is currently one of the busiest routes and takes over 10 hours to travel by rail. Most people would consider it worthwhile to pay the extra $54 Amtrak charges for a flight that may cost as little as $191, as opposed to lengthening your journey by 8.5 hours to save $140 on its new dream train. With the new bullet train connecting Los Angeles and San Francisco in little over two hours, California aims to drastically improve the problem. With an estimated fare of $86, the train's peak speed is 220 km per hour. Train advocates claim that when you consider all the hassles involved with flying, this option truly appears like a reasonable investment overall. Imagine high-speed rail as a much-needed upgrade to the state's outdated and overburdened infrastructure, providing an option for long-distance travel when the state's population continues to increase but the highways and our airports cannot. With the help of high-speed rail, communities will be able to better create their own regional transportation systems and incorporate the high-speed rail station into existing public transportation systems. Additionally, the train will support California's ambitious plan to reduce carbon emissions by 40% from 1990 levels by 2030. The state projects that by 2040, the high-speed rail system will eliminate up to 10 million miles per day of vehicle travel 
as well as up to 180 short flights, with services scheduled to begin in 2020 and an original cost of $33 billion in 2008. Given that the electric train is significantly less carbon-intensive than both driving and flying high-speed rail in California is expected to cost $105 billion in total, and the first segment in the center won't be completed until at least 2029. Like so many other things in life, it all comes down to money, and that $10 billion bond was never intended to cover the entire project. The remaining funds were to be provided by private investors and the federal government, but they have been difficult to come by, and many potential backers have been unconvinced that Americans would decide to stop. Keeping track of money while avoiding flying between the two cities and using the train has also been difficult in 2023. Due to the lack of advancement, the old Trump administration withheld roughly $1 billion in federal cash. The California High Speed Rail Authority is attempting to return this significant sum of money to its bank account in a more favorable manner. The first phase of the train, which will run between the mid-sized cities of Bakersfield, Fresno, and Merced, would cost $4.2 billion. The United States is still a long way from having high-speed rail networks spanning many states on apparently endless lines, but it is closer than ever to beginning to make real progress. What do you think about this billion-dollar infrastructure project? Let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next video.